We interrupt our regular program schedule to bring you the following special report from ABC News. This is Frank. This is Frank Reynolds at Edwards Air Force Base in California, and the Columbia's astronauts have just now emerged from their spacecraft. Joe Engel and uh, Dick Truly, after uh, undergoing a physical examination and obviously passing it, have come out to have a look at the craft in which they were riding for two days, six hours, 13 minutes and 10 seconds before a flawless, beautiful landing. It's parked out there now on the center line, right in the middle of runway 23 at Edwards Air Force Base, where they intended to put it. Gene Cernan, they're having a good look at their uh, bird, aren't they? Looking at their home and in, in, in good professional pilot's tradition, just checking it out, see where they did any, uh, put any scratches on it on the way in. Joe landed that, uh, landed the Columbia right smack on the middle of the center line. He couldn't have done it any, any better if he'd gone out there and parked it. The uh, landing happened uh, more than 40 minutes ago at, uh, but the astronauts had to remain on board, not only for the physical examination, because it was necessary to close out the uh, vehicle, as they say, to uh, make sure that it was in proper shape. And of course, uh, the astronauts themselves had a good deal to do with uh, flicking the switches to the uh, proper position and so forth. And uh, there was a regular convoy that went out to uh, make sure that uh, the vehicle itself was uh, all right. And primarily, of course, that it was all right for the astronauts to come out. Those holes we just saw were in the nose of spacecraft. Remember, once this uh, spacecraft is in orbit in space, it needs little reaction jets to move it around. And uh, that, those were those big holes in the nose. I imagine, too, that they uh, were looking to see if any tiles uh, were missing, uh, particularly from the uh, under the nose area there. Yeah, they, they were. And uh, you could see, of course, the tiles in the nose area are dark. Uh, they're purposely that way. But uh, also, that's one okay. of the big heat areas. Yes, indeed. All right, Gene, thank you very much. Our coverage of Space Shuttle Columbia will continue in a moment. Hey, what's this? No homecoming kiss? What's wrong, babe? Oh, uh, Jonathan, it's your breath. My breath? That bad? You need Chlorets, the breath deodorant. The breath deodorant? Sounds strong. Chlorets with Actazole is strong to deodorize mouth odors. It helps your mouth's own freshening power eliminate bad breath. Terrific. Cost much? A little more. But for the breath deodorant, it's worth it. Chlorets, the breath deodorant. I refinished this beautiful piece all by myself, and I can't even change a light bulb. A pro wanted $300 to refinish this. I did it myself for $15. Formby's furniture refinisher can make a believer out of you because it works unlike anything you've ever seen. It dissolves old varnish lacquer -like shellac without stripping, sanding, or scraping. With my furniture refinisher, it's a pleasure to create a treasure. Homer Formby. No one knows wood as good. Look for special values on Formby's complete refinishing and care kit. This is Frank Reynolds along with Gene Cernan at Edwards Air Force Base here in California. 42 minutes after the astronauts landed, right uh, on the money, on the mark, they came out, and you see this aerial shot now of Columbia parked there after uh, a successful mission of uh, two days. They brought it down right where they intended to put her. And if we can get a close look, well, we can't uh, at the moment of the astronauts, but obviously they're in good sh uh, shape, in good spirits. We're going to uh, replay now the actual landing for you. Here she comes, right down the pike. Looks like it's on a string almost. It was a uh, really a spectacular sight, perhaps even more so, I think, Gene, than the uh, first one, simply because uh, we saw it go through a couple of clouds uh, up there. We could see it at 50,000 feet, contrails. Here's the crew getting into the yes, van. Yes, they're getting into the uh, astronaut transporter van, as they call it, and we go right back to this replay. Joe, of course, has touchdown. seen that runway before, but uh, he couldn't have landed it better, no matter uh, how many times he had tried. It's a pretty spectacular sight. Uh, it's just, just a feeling of it, it's alive. It's a, everyone here was alive when it was landing. Well, everything went well. The, uh, there was some apprehension, of course, because the mission had to be cut short. But nevertheless, they came down and uh, parked it uh, in a perfect fashion. The astronauts themselves now have left the vehicle, and they're uh, going to go over to the <clears throat> VIP area and uh, meet with some uh, folks for a while. And then uh, later on today, they will actually return to Houston. So it's just kind of a... Uh, routine day for people who are accustomed to <laughs> going into space and it's been a successful one well that completes our coverage for now thank you gene for being with us it's been uh, fun working with you this is frank reynolds uh, and i want to thank also the rest of our crew uh, lynn sure and uh, joe allen jules bergman hugh downs and all the others and uh, 
That's it for now from uh, Edwards Air Force Base in California. This special report came to you from ABC News. We now resume our regular program schedule.